What's going on everybody? Tim Metz. I'm here in a fedora for you guys. I know it's been a long time, but I'm back. One of the things that we're going to talk about today, let's just get right to it. Well, actually, the only thing we're going to talk about today is roles and playing solos with roles. You hear people like Buddy Rich and, um, you know, Gene Krupa and those guys that played a lot of really good rudimental solos. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to unlock the mystery. So, there's a PDF that you guys can download off of my website. There's a link below. Uh, check that out, and that might help you out. So we're going to do this in one, two, three, four, five, five steps or so. The first step being the master rhythm. So we have to get a rhythm that, uh, you know, is the rhythm that's going to make the rolls happen. So the rhythm that I chose is the first rhythm on uh, John Riley's The Art of Bob Drumming, the comp example one. So check that out. That goes like this. So that's how you normally play it in, uh, in, the, in the Art of Bob Drumming, but we're going to isolate just that rhythm and just play it on the snare drum. Pretty simple. That's what we need to do. So that's our master rhythm. If we soloed, like if we did a four bar solo, like trading fours, if we did a solo with that, that could work. You know, it'd be pretty empty though. Let's, let's see what that would sound like. You know, not bad, but there's not much to it. So, as drummers, we got to add stuff to it. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a slower to medium tempo, and we're going to make it triplets, right? So we're going to play the same accents, but we're going to play triplets in between, and that would sound like this. Cool. So if you notice, the sticking is just right, left, right, left, right, left. So you have to be a little bit careful with those accents. Uh, the first one, of course, is going to be on the right hand. The second one's going to be on the left hand. And then the next measure, first accent's on the right hand, second one's on the left hand, then the third accent is on the right hand. So just be mindful of the sticking there, and then you'll be able to do it if you do alternate sticking. So that would work. That works really well as a, as a fill. You can use that as a four-bar solo. Nothing wrong with that. But we can take it a step further, and that's where this video hopefully will help you. So the step further is to play roles in between those accents. That would sound like this. One, two, three. Same, same sticking, except that now I'm doubling those roles. So let's put it together in like a four bar solo. One, two, three. Pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um, so now if you wanted to spice that up, we can add those accents on toms. Let's check that out. Way cool. So now we can do that and then we can add the bass drums with the accent and play it on the cymbals. And then it sounds like this great fanfare sort of awesome solo. It's a crowd pleaser. Everybody seems to like it. So let's see what that sounds like. One, two, three. So what about up tempos? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to change from triplets because triplets are a little bit harder to play faster and, you know, and do the rolls in between. So we're going to change it to eighth notes. So a little bit faster tempo. One, two, one, two, three. Cool. 
Cool. Now the sticking did change. All the, the upbeat accents are going to be with the left hand, and all the downbeat accents are going to be the, with the right hand. So beat one, right hand accent, two, left hand accent, uh, or the and of two, I'm sorry, left beat, and then blah, 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 blah. You get it. Uh, the sticking's on the sheet just in case you don't get it. All right. So now, same thing with the triplets. We're just going to fill in the middle. That's going to sound like this with rolls, right? So that'll sound like this. One, two, one, uh, uh. And then you can do exactly the same thing with the toms, you know, add the toms in, add the cymbals in, check it out. One, two, one, uh, uh. That's about it. This is a really quick one, I hope. Well, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, please subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys again next time. Don't forget to download the sheet music to this, and we'll see you next time. All right, thanks a lot.